Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking Seven Ninety Seven. Uh, sorry for the kind of lame review t this morning. Um, I know the white owl is nasty, and um, yeah, but I still will be doing the series on it. So um, don't worry. Um, for some of you who do enjoy the series on white owl, and expect a lot of uh, other machine-made cigar reviews this summer. Expect Dutch Masters. Expect the rest of the game cigars. Uh, Swisher Sweets, all that kind of stuff. Uh, also, um, some of you commented, I think it was Gil Walshburn commented that, um, that, uh, someone needs to help me, encourage me to keep with pipe smoking. Uh, no, I, uh, I like pipe smoking and I won't give it up. Uh, I still enjoy the hobby. All I was saying is, uh, it's not as big of a deal to me anymore. Um, it's still fun. I still love it. Uh, I love it to death. But um, I used, it's just not as big of a deal to me. The novelty is worn off. That's all I'm saying. But today's video, let me move aside, is on a more serious topic. Um, no, not a health-related topic because I know Tobacco Row hates those topics. This topic is going to be about uh, this Sunday. In um, two days, I'll be 20. Uh, that means one year till I can have my, you know, beer, wine, cognac, whatever. Uh, and it got me thinking. It really got me thinking. How long will will smoking be tolerated? I mean, I know people like Tobacco Row, uh, definitely King Siggy, all those people. I've been smoking for a long, long time. Um, not so much tobacco row, but y you get what I'm saying, right? Um, you know, King Siggy, Pipe Friend, all those people are in their 40s and 50s. You know, uh, they've been s smoking for a long, long time. And they really have a long time to enjoy the, the hobby. I mean, Pipe Friend is like 42 years old, and, um, he lived in a generation where you could smoke in restaurants. Not to say that I didn't. I mean, I was 12 or 13 years old, and um, you could still smoke in restaurants around here. There's smoking sections, but that got banned back in 04. So um, yeah, 2004. Um, so my question is, um, how long do you think smoking will be tolerated? Um, I went to my lo my uh, local tobacco shop website. To WatchCityCigar.com, and it says that the, the smoking room is still available in uh, Watch City Cigar, so apparently you can still smoke in there. You can still smoke in the one in, in Waltham and smoke in the one in Framingham. Uh, but my question is, how long will that last for? I mean, there are already cigar shops in Massachusetts, Massachusetts sorry, that you cannot smoke in. Uh, the one in Danvers, uh, you can't smoke in. You can smoke outside. You, you don't have to be like 30 feet away, but uh, you can smoke on the bench outside. But you can't smoke inside. That kind of does worry me. Uh, I really enjoy going to my tobacconist. Uh, the guy who runs the shop and blends the tobaccos. He's like the best guy in the world. Uh, um, and his name's on uh, tobaccoreviews.com. Um, um, but I mean. I enjoy talking to him. I enjoy uh, having a long, hour-long discussion with him about tobacco and what he's smoking, all that kind of stuff. My question is, how long will it last for? I mean, it's fun. I mean, I, yes, I could still go in there and uh, talk with him for an hour, uh, even if smoking was banned in the store. But um, it's more enjoyable with a pipe. It really is. I bring my pipe there. Uh, and I say, oh, I brought my Mario Mello pipe, or my Mario Grande pipe, or my MacArthur Corncob pipe. And he says, ah, you know, it's really fun. So, um, that'll be sad when eventually, because eventually it's going to happen. You know, we all know it. Eventually we know that you won't be able to smoke in any public building inside, and you'll have to be, like, a hundred feet away from the building. Uh, we know that's going to happen eventually, but the question is, when is it going to happen? is going to be 5 years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Also, um, 
it also raises a very important question. Um, you know, what's the future of pipe tobacco? This is kind of like a part three, in a way, of the future of our hobby. So think of this video as a part three of the future of our hobby. Um, I don't mean to bore you with this, this topic, uh, but uh, it's an important topic. I really want to um, talk about it. Um, so, um, what's going to happen to pipe tobacco? I mean, is there going to come day come a day when uh, pipe tobacco is so ridiculously ridiculously taxed that, that um, we can't afford it, or we can barely afford it? We can only afford to buy a, a small 50 gram tin. And let's just face it, 50 gram doesn't last us very long. I mean, if you're smoking, you know, two big bowl pipes a day, 50 grams only lasts you really like a week. So I mean, are and are we looking at like how much are we looking at per 50 gram ten? Are we looking at you know ten dollars to you know twenty dollars? Is that the increase we're looking at? Are we looking at a ten dollar change in price? Are we looking at a twenty dollar change in price? Are we even looking at a twenty five dollar change in price? I mean, that would really suck if you walked into your tobacconist in a 50 gram tin of Frog Morton was, um, was $30. I mean, that would really suck. And what about the, the bigger amounts of tobacco? I mean, like, um, like, we get bulk tobacco in Wash City Cigar also. It's very, very cheap. It's, I mean, like, four ounces, which lasts me about three weeks. It's only, it's only like $12. So, I mean, it makes more sense to buy four ounces of bulk tobacco than uh, 50 grams of uh, tin tobacco. However, tin tobacco is usually better. Uh, it's usually fresher. Uh, but, um, still, um, what if the four ounces of, you know, bulk tobacco goes from $12 to $55 or $60? I mean, it's happening already in, in Europe and Canada and, uh, England and uh, all those countries. I mean, what's going to happen to our hobby? I mean, forget just smoking in public buildings. I mean, that's already been pretty much banned. I mean, what's going to happen in 20, 30 years to um, the price of tobacco? I mean, currently the price on a pound of pipe tobacco is $2.83 federally, and uh, the Price on a pound of roll your own tobacco is twenty four dollars. Um, yeah, um, but no shit, Sherlock. You can use pipe tobacco to roll uh, cigarettes. So what? What is it? What are the anti tobacco fascists going to do? They're going to say, well, anything that can be used to roll cigarettes or anything that can be used in association with cigarettes should be taxed just as high, if not higher. So. Um, it really has me worried. I mean, and the third thing I want to talk about that you're spot of right now, just literally now, is what's the future of our, um, you know, our pipe community on YouTube? What if people in a year or two start making complaints, like saying, this pipe community is promoting smoking to kids. There are underage pipe smokers on here. Because there are. There are people who are smoking pipes underage. It's happening. The hobby is becoming more popular, and that's good. But we have to remember this is not the super healthiest hobby or habit to have. So, um, and uh, unfortunately, the health Nazis um, kind of group pipe smoking or cigarette smoking it consider it just as dangerous, which is not. There are differences between the hobbies, between the the you know the products. So, um, yeah. Um, I hope our pipe community will stay alive, and, um, but yeah, what's going to happen in 5, 10, 15 years? Um, it seems to be going okay. Y YouTube seems to be tolerating us as pipe smokers. I mean, Kel and, uh, Zaps got partner, so, uh, and they have smoking in their videos, so, um, YouTube seems, seems to, to be tolerating it. But, yeah, give me your thoughts on uh, smoking in tobacco shops, cigar bars, hookah bars, um, prices of tobacco, pipe tobacco cigars, in the future of our pipe community on YouTube. 
I've, I've rambled on way long enough. Um, see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.